Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Under the Skin. I'm Christopher, the video game historian, and as always on these videos, I'm going to take a look at the meaning behind the names of the various skins of Battlefield 1. This episode, I'm going to take a look at a few distinguished skins, and these are going to be the Moses skin for the auto-loading Model 8, the Mowbray and Arthur skins for the Farquhar Hill, and finally, the Death's Head skin for the Madsen MG. First up is the Moses skin for the auto-loading 835, and is unfortunately not named for the famed Moses who received the Ten Commandments from God and led the Jewish people into the Holy Land, but rather for the inventor of the auto-loading Model 8, John Moses Browning. Browning was born in Utah on January 21, 1855, and was one of 19 children, and would eventually become the father of modern firearms. Since he was a young man, he tinkered with firearm designs, and while working on a lever-action shotgun for Winchester, would patent a pump-action shotgun in 1888. Over the years, he would continue to innovate firearms, bringing them from the antiquated manual repeating rifles of the 19th century into the modern age with semi- and fully automatic weapons. Some of his weapons are included in Battlefield 1, along with various other games like Call of Duty, Medal of Honor, Far Cry, and PUBG, such as the Bar, Remington Model 8, Browning Auto 5, M97 Shotgun, Winchester 1895, Colt 1903 Hammerless, M1917 Machine Gun, and M1911, just to name a few of his accomplished firearms. Along with firearms, he also introduced many new cartridges for his various weapons such as the 25, 32, 38, 380, and 45 ACP, the 50 BMG, and the 9mm Browning, which is a 9x20mm pistol cartridge. Over the course of his career, he worked with various firearm manufacturers to produce his weapons such as Colt, FN, Winchester, and Remington, among others. The next two skins for the Farquhar Hill Rifle are the Mowbray and Arthur skins, and I decided to do these two together as I cannot find much about these two individuals whom the skins are named for. Wikipedia has been my biggest helper, and other sources seem to give me a little, if anything at all, worthwhile to use. The white skin is named after Colonel Mowbray G. Farquhar, while the blued skin is named after Arthur Hill. If you haven't guessed it already, these two skins are named after the two men that designed and patented the Farquhar Hill Rifle, which was one of the first self-loading rifles of the 20th century. First test fired in 1908, it was chambered in the 303 British Round and was a long recoil semi-automatic rifle. It could be fed with a 19-round drum magazine or a 65-round drum magazine, and like many of the rifles in Battlefield 1, the Farquhar Hill saw limited service, and the service it did see was with the Royal Flying Corps and the Royal Naval Air Service, which were being issued these rifles as early as 1917. Finally, the Death's Head skin for the Madsen MG is a reference to a skull and crossbone symbol or badge frequently worn by the German and Prussian military in World War I and World War II. During the Seven Years' War, Frederick the Great of Prussia established a Hussar Cavalry Regiment, and this regiment adorned the symbol of skull and crossbones, or a Totenkopf. In 1809, the Duke of Brunswick Wolfenbüttel raised a corps of volunteer soldiers to fight Napoleon who had conquered his lands during the War of the Fifth Coalition. The Hussar cavalry and infantry units of this corps wore the Totenkopf on their uniforms as a sign of revenge towards the French. During the Battle of Waterloo, they aided the British in defeating Napoleon and by 1866, the Brunswick Corps had been incorporated into the Prussian army and the use of the Totenkopf continued well throughout World War I. During the final offensives of the war, many German Sturmtruppen donned the symbol, as did many military pilots in the Luftstreitkrafte, who used it as their personal insignia for their aircrafts. During World War II, the Totenkopf was used by not only the SS forces, but also many Panzer and Waffen-SS units. 
While the Totenkopf has a long history with Germany, it has had other uses as well, most notably the Jolly Roger, the flag used by the pirate Samuel Bellamy. The Kornilov Regiment of the White Russians used the Emlin as did the Arditi during World War I. That's all for this week's episode, hopefully you all enjoyed it and if so, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and leave your comments down below. Also don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, as well as join me in my Discord server, link down in the description below. On nights I'm not on my PS4, you can find me on the Xbox One on Kingdom Come Deliverance or Star Wars Battlefront 2 under the name Bacon Rebellions. Until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield.